Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of the Appointment Book WordPress plugin. This plugin easily allows you to add appointment scheduling functionality on your WordPress website. You can even require payments at the time of booking. So let's take a look. Here you'll see I have a calendar of March. Your visitors will easily be able to select a day and then choose the time that they would like to schedule with you from the times that are available. You can also choose to display the cost of the appointment and their total price. Your visitor will then enter their name, email, contact number, any additional notes. They'll be able to select their payment method, whether this is a free booking or PayPal if this was a paid booking. And they will also have to check that they have double checked their appointment. And then they'll click send and you'll be notified of the appointment. So let's go ahead and dig into the settings for the Appointment Book plugin. Under Appointment Book Settings, we'll start with the General Settings tab. Here you'll enter your currency code, your currency symbol, the minimum number of booking days prior to the appointment. So if you enter one here, this means that your visitor can't enter an appointment for today. It has to be about 24 hours in advance. Maximum advanced booking. This is how far out you allow your visitors to book. So if you have 90 here, they can book 90 days out from now. Check to allow anonymous booking. If you check this box, you are allowing users to book without registering on your website. If you leave it unchecked, then your visitor will need to register before booking an appointment with you. The checkout page ID. This is the ID of the page that you have created with the checkout page short code. And that page will display during checkout for your visitor. The thank you page ID is the ID of the page that you have created using the thank you page short code. And the thank you page displays after your visitor has scheduled their appointment with you. The user bookings page ID is the ID of the page that you have created using the booking page short code. And this is a page that you will use to show all of your appointments that are upcoming. The next tab that we're going to look at is holidays. This is where you're going to enter in all of the days that you do not want booked. So you can click in this empty space here and a calendar will display. So say you want to enter in March 27th as a holiday. Select that date and click Add, and you'll see that it adds it down here. And you can also remove or add from this field as well. Go ahead and click Save Changes when you're done. Next, we're going to go to the Mail tab. The Mail From Name, you can enter that in here. The Mail From Email mail to email. Now this is where you want your notification email sent after people book an appointment with you. The admin mail subject, this would be just the subject for the bookings that will be sent to the admin. The user mail subject, this is the subject of the emails that will be sent to the user after they've booked an appointment with you. Alright, we'll hop over to the payments tab. Here you can enable free booking, so if you check this box, your user will not have to pay before scheduling an appointment with you. You can also edit the payment label. You can enable PayPal payments by checking this box. You'll also have to add your client ID and a PayPal secret key, and then also your PayPal mode. So you can do it in sandbox mode for testing purposes or the live payment mode. And keep in mind, based on which mode is displayed or selected, then you will also have to update your client ID or your secret code, secret key. And click Save Changes there. The next thing I'm going to cover is appointment calendars. So you can click on that over on the left hand side. And you can create unlimited calendars. I'm going to go ahead and click Add New. You can enter a title for your calendar. 
Under set working hours, your duration is going to be the duration in minutes for your session or appointment. So say you want them to be 60 minutes long, you can add that. Your price per appointment, that will depend on how much you are going to charge your user for each appointment. You can add that there. Now you'll go through each day of the week and enable your schedule. So let's start on Monday and I'll click on enable schedule. Then I will be able to add in my times that I would like available for people to select appointments. We'll say 9 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Your capacity is going to be if you have two appointments available at 8 o'clock, you can go ahead and update that. If you want to delete them, very easy, just click on delete. And then you can go through and do that for each day of the week. Once you're complete, then you'll want to click Publish. And your calendar will be published. Once that's published, we can take a look. We'll preview changes. And you'll see your calendar displayed with only the dates and times that you have set to available. The last setting that I'm going to go over is the appointment setting. You'll see on the left-hand side. Go ahead and click on that and that will display a list of all of your appointments that have been scheduled through your website. To get more information about each one, you can click on it, on the title, and then your appointment details will display. As you can see, the Appointment Book WordPress plugin makes it super easy for you to add appointment scheduling functionality directly on your website, saving you time and money.